Welcome back to Just Coast Fishing. Uh, today we have a special guest star Ian over here. How's it going? And uh, what we're going to be doing is we're going to go hit up a dam and see if we can catch some smallmouth. Maybe a walleye or two. Never really know. Hopefully a muskie if we can. Yeah, that'd be cool. Crappies would be a plus. Yeah. Um, so with the channel, Sword Pop ended up uh, getting a full-time job again. So it's going to be a little bit shaky as far as uh, videos go because I'm going to be working the weekends. He works the weeks. So we're going to have Ian come on here and there. When I'm not working. And uh, maybe some other people will hopefully bust some videos out for you guys. We'll get her done. But hopefully you enjoy the video. See you later. <coughs> We're out here bass fishing. I don't know exactly what kind of water. Fishing a rubber. We're gonna go try. Uh, this is what we're fishing. Weightless. Oh, go down these rocks. Is that a beer bobber? Nice. Alright guys, so we're on the other side of the dam now. I'm gonna start with this crankbait or this uh, square bill. I have a worm with a floating jig head. Drifting it seems. Might not have enough weight. I can't help myself but throw this uh, silver whopper plopper over here. Soda pop had a lot of good luck on it this year. I decided to grab one of my own. All right guys, I'm just gonna go ahead and take this off the bottom. It's just a black and blue wacky worm. First fish of the day. Got a baby smallmouth to start our day off. Yeah, just a little guy. It's better than catching nothing at all. <laughs> yeah, on this rig, guys, I have a, a floating jig head, and then I ran out of split shot, so what I did is I took a uh, regular jig head and I just cut the weight off of it. <laughs> Dude, I feel like I've actually done that before. Not gonna lie. It works to get it out there, but 90% Yeah. Other than that, I've used like old sockets and uh, nuts and bolts, that kind of thing. Anything to get it to the bottom. Yeah, they do. So I'm just gonna keep switching it up. Keep trying new baits. See if I can get anything to produce. Got one small mouth so far. Right against the wall. I've never caught a topwater fish. 
Really? That's like one of my biggest goals. Literally. I've had a lot of bites on top water. I just never could hook them. First top water fish ever. <laughs> right at the, yep. Whoa, look at the lip on this guy. <coughs> there it goes. Look at his cleft lip. <laughs> you ever see those videos on like TikTok where it's like, hey guys, wanna go fishing? Decent. He's not very big, but that's my uh, my first topwater fish I've ever caught. <laughs> On the Let's get it, guys. Just because fishing. I'm so happy after that. We might not have caught very many fish, but I definitely just got one of my records done. Or one of my goals. There, It's like the easiest topwater bait to use, but I'm still happy that I finally caught a fish on topwater. Yeah. Like, that was a huge goal. It is. Yep. Yeah, because what I did is I actually, I, I let it into this current, then I opened my bale and I let it float all the way down there. And I retrieved it from there. So I think that the bass might be sitting down there after the heavy current. Because isn't that where you caught that one too? Mm-hmm. Let's go guys. That's what we're talking about. A straight monster. The biggest fish of the day. I've never seen one that size. Here, hold it real close to the camera. So it makes it look real big. Yeah. Hold on, I'll get one. Turn, turn away and then hit him with the. Look at that enormous Dude, small that mouth. Giant. That's a that's a 15 pounder. 15 pounder. That's state record. He just threw back. <laughs> oh, he was on though. You might have dialed it in. Another one of the biggest bass I've ever seen. That's how they come around here. This is the true smallmouth hunting grounds. True smallmouth hunting grounds. It's where you want to be. Got some company. Some little old guy. It's okay. You can come. You can come hammer these monsters. Another classic. Hardly fit the thumb in the mouth. Perfect for a fish tank. <laughs> legally. Heck yeah. That, nope. Not legally. Back to back to back. A little bigger there. Well, I'm pissed. <laughs> that one I can actually get my thumb in the lip a little bit. You'll get that sometimes. Oh, did I just find a pocket that's a little small. Seems like it. Yeah, that's another hit. He's just uber giant out here. That's a pretty See, these fish are so soft. They feel like almost like fluffy. When they're little like this. So you're just throwing uh, two split shots and a small piece of crawler. Yeah, like eight sides. into the foot. pocket. Small fish are still fun fish. A small fish is still a fish. Right. Dude, literally fourth cast in a row. Quick release. Yep. That's what we call that. Yes, sir. It's always handy to have quick release around. Dude, there must have been just too much worm on the hook or something. Because I literally, I cast it all up in that spot using a full crawler. All right, guys. We're going to go ahead and uh, get out of here. 
Uh, we got some things to do, but today was a pretty good day of fishing, and hopefully we'll see you guys soon again. As always, guys, make sure to go ahead and click that like button if you enjoyed this video. Give us a subscription and drop a, like, or, uh, drop a comment below because we like reading from our fans. But uh, as always, keep on fishing just because. Yeah.